there was a random survey done and here is the data that we got if you look at the table it gives you the number of people in different age groups look at the table carefully do you see something peculiar yes the class intervals they are not uniform 0 to 5 5 to 10 fine but 10 to 20 so they are not uniform but the class interval is continuous fine so what we need to do is we need some parameter which will have the same effect as a class size that is uniform how do we do that well that parameter is called adjusted frequency of a class and this is how we calculate it minimum class size divided by class size into frequency once you've done that drawing the histogram will be easy fine let's now look at the table again in the first column you have age second column you have frequency that is the number of people this is already given to you let me make another column which gives the class size 5 5 10 20 10 30 you see this non-uniform class size now let me add the critical column adjusted frequency get back to the formula for the first row 0 to 5 age group the adjusted frequency is minimum class size which is 5 divided by the class size in this case that is also 5 so 5 by 5 into frequency which is 7 so we get our adjusted frequency as 7 second row minimum class size 5 this class size 5 frequency 9 frequency 9 and we get our adjusted frequency once again as 9 the third one carefully minimum class size well that will remain the same 5 and this class size this time it is 10 to 20 so it is 10 into what is the frequency 14 so we get the adjusted frequency as 7 similarly we do it for the rest of the rows and we've got our complete column of adjusted frequency now we are ready to draw the histogram what is the first step we draw two mutually perpendicular axes now the intersection is obviously o the origin the horizontal axis is x axis which could represent age and the vertical axis the y axis that gives the number of people now we need to choose a suitable scale let me take the scale on the x axis as 1 cm equals 10 years fine you can take a different scale but i guess this is more convenient on y axis we say 1 cm is equal to one person now what do we do the next step we construct rectangular bar graphs by taking the given class interval as width of the rectangular bar fine that was given in the original data and we take the adjusted frequency as the length of the rectangular bar that is the height in this case fine look at it carefully this is your histogram observe it for each of the rectangles notice the width is the original class interval and the height is the adjusted frequency now it's a correct and beautiful histogram